Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Triple Double Nation. Today, we're looking at the top 10 youngest NBA players to ever win MVP. Let's get right into the video. Number 10, LeBron James. Talking about MVPs and King James wouldn't be on the list? Well, that's just impossible. Joined in the NBA straight out of high school, LB James became the one-man show for Cavaliers. He led the team strong in scoring assists and had the highest number of rebounds. James's undeniable aura on court steals his position in this list of youngest NBA players to win MVP. James had been awarded the NBA Rookie of the Year in 2004 and had also featured in the NBA All-Rookie team in that same year. His performance at St. Vincent Mary got him in the limelight and since then he hasn't left the spot. LeBron James is destined to earn many more MVPs during the rest of the year, his youngest MVP being at the age of 24 in the year 2009. Number 9, Moses Malone. The game has seen several powerful centers like Shaquille O'Neal, Bill Russell, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. However, Moses Malone showed sheer brilliance at a very young age. He was extremely aware of his position in the team and was at the right place at the right time, stealing those crucial points for the team. Malone played a major part of his career for the NBA for the Houston Rockets. However, Malone has also dominated the NBA before it was merged with the NBA. Malone was terrific on the court with a brilliant defense game. He has three MVPs to his name and is featured in the NBA All-Stars game dozens of times. His first MVP at the age of 24 in the year 1979 has placed him on this list. He is no doubt worthy of being among the youngest MVPs of the NBA given his splendid performance. It took him two seasons more after his first MVP to lead the Houston Rockets to their championship titles. Nevertheless, his fantastic season with 25.8 points and 17.6 rebounds per match placed him on the leaderboard. Number 8, Dave Cohens. Another center named Dave Cohens adds to the list, who was a sensation of the game during his younger days. However, age and a scurry of injuries had repeatedly hit him hard. Nonetheless, we cannot ignore the brilliant decade he had played for the Boston Celtics. Cohens had won the NBA Rookie of the Year in his first season for the Celtics, naturally placing him in the NBA All-Rookies team in 1971. To add to his achievements, he has bagged eight NBA All-Stars to his name and has also been the All-Star Game MVP once. Speaking of the youngest NBA player to win MVP, Cohens grabbed his first season MVP at his third NBA season at the super young age of 24, which makes him eligible for our list of top 10. Though Cohen suffered severe injuries during his career, he couldn't be stopped during his time with the Celtics. He was later replaced by Mikhail, one of the greats of the game who led them to their 1981 title. Dave Cohens is an underrated and less popular player than everyone else on this list, but he's one of the youngest ever to win MVP. Number 7, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was one of the greatest NBA players to have graced the b-balling scene. However, his greatness isn't achieved overnight. It's a process. A whopping 38,387 points under his name has made him the all-time leading NBA scorer. His career with the Bucks as a center was so powerful that he snatched the title for his club in his second NBA season. In that same season, he won his youngest NBA player MVP award in the year 1971, and further went down to win a total of six season MVPs an all-time record to date. As an icing to his fantastic season, he was the leading scorer with an average of 31.7 points and 17 rebounds per night. His explosiveness and his agility on the court makes him such a dominant center in basketball. Not to forget, his affection towards scoring lands him in the list of the 50 greatest NBA players to have slammed the basketball. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's contribution to the game is unfathomable. His dedication and style lands his name in the same sentence as Magic Johnson or Michael Jordan. Number 6, Bob Pettit. Being the first recipient of the NBA MVP award, Pettit played 11 seasons for the Milwaukee Bucks slash Hawks. With shifting roles between a power forward and a center, Pettit led the Bucks to their first ever NBA title in 1958. He's one of the best white players in the NBA, already breaking records. He bagged the NBA Rookie of the Year during his first season. He also donned the All-Stars kit 11 times, having a record of four NBA All-Stars MVP. This has been untouched before legend Kobe Bryant achieved a similar feat. His cabinet boasts two NBA season MVPs, with the first one at the age of 24. This enabled him to be among the youngest NBA players to win MVP before Wes Unseld or Derrick Rose stepped in. His early achievement in his career makes him capable of earning his place on our list. Featuring in the NBA's 25th, 35th, and 50th anniversary teams, Pettit retired with extremely impressive numbers. Number 5, Bill Russell. This list seems to be getting overcrowded with centers. We can't help it. Another all-time great to have ever passed the ball. Frequently mentioned in the same sentence as the famous Wilt Chamberlain, Russell was one of the tallest players in the NBA. Bill Russell started his NBA career for the Boston Celts in 1956 and retired under the same club in 1969. 
In his 13 seasons, Russell has led the Celts to an unbelievable 11 championship titles with eight years straight from 1956 to 1966. This solidifies his spot as one of the youngest NBA players to win MVP. Moreover, during his college days, he had won two NCAA championships and was UPI College Player of the Year 1956. Number four, Wilt Chamberlain. Wilton Norman Chamberlain, one of the greatest centers to have ever dribbled the ball around the court. Wilt Chamberlain was a one-man show and his technique can make you fall in love with the game. Chamberlain and Russell rivalry was one of the greatest rivalries in the NBA. A significant amount of popularity of professional balling has been attributed to these two men. After adding the first MVP award to his cabinet in 1960 at the age of 23, Chamberlain had to wait another six years before his second MVP. It's believed that Chamberlain could have achieved a few more NBA titles if Russell had not been on his eight straight winning spree. However, that couldn't stop Chamberlain from grabbing other achievements. He was an NBA All-Star, a whopping 13 times, and it has a total of four NBA MVPs. The all-time record of 100 points in a single game is still untouched by any other baller. Number three, Bob McAdoo. McAdoo has played for different teams and has a wonderful career in the NBA. However, he can be very well deemed to be amongst the most underrated players in the NBA for ignoring his undeniable impact on the arena. With a character in the Buffalo Braves and LA Lakers during their heydays, McAdoo was a dominant power forward in his days. Winning his first MVP at the tender age of 23, McAdoo rightfully deserves a place in the list. However, his greatness could be spotted from his very first season in the NBA. He won the NBA Rookie of the Year and indefinitely featured in the NBA All-Rookies Team of the Season. Furthermore, he also has two NBA Championship rings to his name and has been featured in the NBA All-Stars five times. As mentioned earlier, McAdoo's career was overshadowed by other greats playing during that time and he has slid between the hype. Number two, Wes Unseld, the second youngest NBA player to win MVP. Standing at a comparatively standard height of 6'7", Unseld made up for his stature with sheer determination on the court. His bone-drawing picks with accurate outlet passing and excellent rebounds made his play enjoyable and feisty. Another center to crowd the list, Unseld was drafted by the Baltimore Bullets in 1969. Wes soon started making an impact on the game with his brilliant playing style. He bagged NBA Rookie of the Year in 1969 and also won his first and only MVP in that same year. And finally at number one, Derrick Rose, the youngest NBA player to win MVP. Rose was an explosive beast. He could tear apart opposite defenses with his quick layups and surreal athletic ability. Without any doubt, he's one of the greatest players this decade has produced. He became the youngest player to win an MVP award at the tender age of 22. In the year 2008, Rose was drafted by the Chicago Bulls, the team that produced the great Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Rose was en route to becoming the most dominating point guards of all time. He had won the NBA Rookie of the Year award in his first season. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like rating down below and comment who your favorite young MVP is. See you guys next time. Have a great day.